Crestliner Boats has been building high quality aluminum boats for over 75 years, and we make these to withstand the elements. At the same time though, you may want to use a travel cover to protect your investment. This is going to protect your boat from dust, moisture, and ultraviolet light. Now, one question that we get a lot is, how do you simply put on your travel cover? And let me show you, it's really simple. The first thing I'm going to do is start inside the boat. And this is a brand new cover. We haven't put it on yet. If you've used it more than once, the easiest way to put it back on is when you take it off, roll it from the back to the front because you're always going to start in the bow of the boat. And we've got these small clips and there are just two small posts up in the bow that we put each of these clips on. And then we're going to attach just a couple snaps that are right up here in the bow. Now I'm going to exit the boat because everything else we can do from the exterior standing on the ground. However, you do want to make sure if you have a walkthrough windshield that you close that windshield before you get out of the boat. If you've got a ski pylon that you remove that and any sure mount accessories come off so you can put the cover on and it fits tightly. Now I've removed all of the accessories inside the boat, closed the windshield, and I'm going to start back up in the bow and I'm just taking these J-shaped clips and inserting them into this channel that runs the length of the gunnel. Now when I do that, I want to feel them click into place. And I'm gradually working my way towards the back of the boat. Now I'm not going to clip all of these into, the, into place all the way to the stern, but I'm going to get several of them started because we want to attach the back of the cover to stretch this over the entire length of the boat. Otherwise, when we get to the back, we're only stretching at a small distance to the next clip. So let's go to the back. And the first thing I want to do is secure the corner. So I'm just gonna pull it over the corner of the boat and I'm going to take this strap, put it through the rear U-bolt and clip it. Now this doesn't have to be tightened up right away. We actually want to attach the J-clips along the side of the boat before we tighten this up. Now I'm just going back to where I left off with the J-hooks and I'm going to clip them into place, working my way from the front to the back. Now as you get to the windshield, sometimes that's an area that's a little bit tighter. So you've got a loop here that you can pull on to help you get those J-hooks secure. Now one other thing is the first time that you put this cover on, it's going to be snug. But each time that you do it after that, it's going to be easier and easier. Then we're going to attach the flap that goes right over the splash well. So there's just a couple small snaps, one in the back corner, one right next to the hydraulic hoses. And then there's another clip in the back that's going to go into a small screw here. And you can loosen these up. Remember, you don't have to tighten everything down until you've finished the process. And then you just attach these small clasps to the bolts. Now you just want to make sure that you tighten up the straps on the corners, in the splash well, and in the bow of the boat. Now we've got a full walkthrough windshield on this model, so we don't need any support poles. If you've got a single console or a tiller boat, you're going to have support poles to put in as well. And when we take the cover off, again, we want to make sure that we start in the back and roll it up so it's simple to put on the next time that we're going to use the travel cover.